friends, my dear friends, today I want to talk to you about something just absolutely beautiful, absolutely phenomenal, and it is something that happens between child and parent, and it is called the power struggle. It's a dance between child and parent that's perfectly made just for that those two people. It's 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 called a power struggle and I actually think let's just understand the art and the science. For those of you who who just go for it, why not just like understand the art and science and cultivate and perpetuate that power struggle that is yours for the taking it is especially made for you it is something that you especially made and you cultivated already and now I just want to tell you how much I love power struggles in parenting and that there's an art and a science to it there are tri- tri- tr- tips tricks steps there's things that can just keep it going and make it beautiful totally really 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 beautiful so let's talk about the power struggle so first of all you need to know exactly what it is that pushes your buttons know it believe in it believe in that you know this is important to you that this power struggle must go on know what your struggles are and then completely forget them and pretend that you would never have a power struggle happen again and then when it those little signals come that a power struggle can happen for you especially for you and right in the middle of your home forget that there's buttons or that you're responsible for them or that you don't like power struggles i mean people think they don't like power struggles but the truth is they just go for it don't we and don't we love them i mean we must love them if we're creating them over and over and over again in parenting especially so yeah, let's just embrace it. Why resist the thing that we love doing constantly? And so I'm here to take a stand. There is value in the power struggle. So know what your dynamic is. Know what your buttons are. Know what your child's weaknesses are. The thing that pushes them to the edge to, to do their part of the dynamic of the dance of the beauty of the power struggle. And then completely forget about all of that and act as if it's never going to happen again and be really surprised and just be shocked that the thing happened again, the thing that drives you crazy. It's here again and pretend that you're shocked that you had no idea it was coming. That's a big part of the power struggle is just like completely forgetting that you have any power, right, to change that dynamic. It's great. So... Now, what is really special and like beautiful, and that's why it's an art, is because there's like these perfect storms that you can whip up, that you can, can contribute, you can contribute to it, which is like, there's, you know, it's like everything is set up to repeat itself only if you're willing to contribute to keeping it going. So, for example, if you get low on self-care like you're like literally ignoring your needs and your desires and who you are and what you love and what gives you nourishment this is a good setup for another power struggle a beautiful power struggle so get low on self-care no problem right guys if you're a parent it is not hard to get low on self-care and that's fine it really it really works out if you embrace that you love you love struggling and you want to keep it going so, you know, and this is related but slightly different it's on a deeper level is that like keep ignoring and either shortening or completely interrupting or sabotaging your spiritual life. Like, yeah, you're a spirit soul, but what matters more is keeping victim stories going on in your life and keeping the challenges up to the max and then you know coming up with a ton of excuses to not do the thing that really matters to you live your life purpose or your spiritual purpose so definitely ignore your spiritual life as much as you can if you want to keep the art of your power struggle your special piece of art that you've created that that dynamic that is unlike anything else that any other parent has it's yours and you know it's beautiful and it's yours and you keep it going and um, and there's a couple other things, which is just like, 
you know, this is a couple other things regarding whipping up the perfect storm, but there's actually like a lot. This is, this is an art and a science. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's complex and complicated and it's not simple, but it's easy. So just keep yourself crazy busy and likewise layer on too much stuff. Like if you're so busy and your life is so cluttered, woo, like that's a perfect storm for like getting really irritated and your child being overwhelmed and irritated too. And just boom, you can just have that interaction exactly the way you dreamt of it from the beginning. And there it is like perfect storms, whipping up perfect storms over and over and over again. Um, you will, you will cultivate and you will fester the festivities of the power struggle all for yourself, just exactly the way that you want it. Um, and you know, you want to let your child get on the brink of a, of a full on tantrum and don't pay attention to early signs that they need something different. Kind of ignore it. I mean, I, ignoring sounds bad, but not if you have a like a higher goal like a bigger vision is like yeah you believe in the power of struggle struggle i mean we're going to struggle for something we're going to struggle in life you know you know and you get to pick what kind of struggle you want and i'm saying like yeah completely ignore that power struggles are challenging and don't really help but ignore that and keep it going so you let let that child kind of this is kind of about the art the art of it like you want the child to be on the brink of doing the thing that they do, like yelling or screaming or, you know, um, defying you. And then you say the thing back that's, you know, just coming from this reaction place, like this anger place. And then they, you know, play right into the, the re it's been rehearsed already before you can, and then the next day you can do it again. Say the thing and then set that struggle right in motion where you've got this, oof, you know, both both of you. You could even have other family members involved. I mean, in our home, we have four people. We can all just play right into it and get right synced in together, right into the roles that we created. And we don't step out. We want to stay there. It makes us feel connected. And then, you know, just keep adding layers of stress, like, anything else in your life that could be like sort of cleaned up or addressed you know leave it there or even add stress there's so many ways you can add stress but just the, the general idea is just keep it in order to keep the power struggle going the beautiful synchronized you know it's really it's like magnetic you're just drawn to each other in this special way you want to keep it going add stress it's just like an ingredient to add on top, like a sprinkling, you know, this is, you know, you're just sprinkling on a flavor. Um, and, you know, as far as being parents in our part in the power struggle, um, something that works is threats and punishments. Just add them. Just, you know, I know that my audience is all about conscious parenting and I really love conscious parenting too. And so threats and punishments and like blaming your child and blaming other people in your family. I know those words don't sound conscious. Threats, punishments, and blame. Those are heavy words and it's a big no-no in spiritual life and in conscious living. But I'm just presenting an alternative perspective, which is there's something beautiful about our power struggle. And you can cultivate that. And there can be self-realization afterwards. And so just go for it. Go right in for it. Add punishments fast too. Like under pressure. Like pressurize the whole thing. Just pressurize it. Make there be ultimatums where like everyone needs to do a thing right away. Or else. Oh, you know. Man, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. And I know you can do it. You want to, and then, you know, after you've done your perfect power struggle dance, you want to forget it, that it happened, sweep it under the rug, you know, maybe apologize, or maybe just, you know, do something completely different to completely ignore that it even happened, and then just forget about it. And then the next day, um, you know, a lot of times power struggles happen right at the same time, like everybody comes home from, like, work or school or whatever, 
and there, it's just you can feel it in the air that it wants to take place again and you can ex you can expect it but you need to forget that it's going to happen and then act shocked that it's happening again it's just the art and science of a power struggle um and you yeah i mean lastly if you this is to go kind of deep meditate on why you don't have power because that is the that is the essence of a power struggle is people feeling powerless or people f trying to get power in like a in like a special way it's really special but like you can literally like separately like your own private like time with yourself you can meditate on why you don't have any power to transform your life or to make any changes and this is good it's like you get into that um that powerless consciousness even maybe feeling like like a victim to your life and like there's no there's no choices there's no options for you there's no options for you and i'm not talking about people who really don't have any options i'm talking about those of us who are privileged enough to have options choosing to meditate on not having options to just keep ourselves at a lower state of functioning and consciousness all for the goal of enjoying the sabotaging effects of the power struggle and then experiencing maybe after that an opportunity to step out of that and step up out of that so i know this may be really confusing but i'm telling you there's something beautiful about the art and science of the power struggle for you self-realization is available for you connection to your higher power and your highest guidance is available by going right into the terrible thing um that you don't want to happen tomorrow but it is gonna happen tomorrow unless you change thanks